review. Well, the other day I was scrolling across eBay and like I normally do, searching for things, for products to review, seeing what's out there, what's available. I stumbled across something that I had to take a double take at because, well, frankly, I didn't know that they made them in a BB blowback version. And that is the gun of John Wick. What I found was the 1911, 2011 styles, Baba Yaga, high kappa. CO2, it's a blowback gun, it's supposed to have a really hard blowback actually, is what they claim. Um, I decided to pull the trigger and buy it and, and, uh, because I would like it for the collection. I think they look great, it's cool. It's the gun of John Wick, you know, you gotta have the gun of John Wick. So anyhow, um, yeah, I bought it. Uh, we'll get to price in a little bit, but I'm gonna give you some information about it. Now I'm right here on eBay, so I'm just gonna read directly from the site, so you're gonna know exactly what I got. As of right now, um, there's more than 10 available and six have sold and I am one of those six. Now mind you, I have not seen these any place else and I have looked, so if you find them someplace else, leave it in the comment section below because I'd be curious to where you can get them. Um, now the company that sells them is Crownland and they also make an airsoft version of this particular pistol. So, um, what we have is a, a velocity of up to 350 feet per second, is what they say. Not too shabby. Um, it's a one-to-one -one scale. It's a full metal construction and it has a 20 round capacity magazine included. Now, this is kind of an unboxing. I have been in here prior to this video. I wasn't gonna, I had a whole unboxing uh, lined up, but I'm gonna be honest with you, it just kind of turned to hell on me because I had a, some problems trying to figure out some of the stuff on this particular particular uh, blowback air pistol, um, namely loading the magazine. I wasn't sure what I was doing wrong, but I learned quickly. So I left all that nonsense out for, out for you guys so you could just uh, appreciate the gun and showing it out of this box. And I hope you understand that while this isn't a full unboxing, I literally did unbox it not 10 minutes ago. So without any further ado, here we go. Crownland comes in a nice, uh, a very nice box. Um, website is www.crownland.com.tw. They do have a couple videos on YouTube of this gun shooting. So you gotta search them out a little bit. It's kind of hard to find. Uh, most of the, most of the uh, guns like this are the, um, the blowback versions of the airsoft, not the actual CO2 BB. So, um, it's a very, it's a nice quality box. So you can see you got either got the six millimeter airsoft version or the 4.5 BB version, and that's what this one is. So we'll open it. First thing you'll notice is they give you a very detailed instruction manual, and if it wasn't for this manual, I wouldn't have known what I was doing as far as loading this. Even though they gave me a manual, I still had a hard time because sometimes when you look at things and it's a little difficult, you make you make sure you're you know doing it right. Um, gives you a full breakdown of the gun, and every single part is numbered. If you need you need a replacement piece, they do have a website to go to. Everything is numbered and it is in good English. So the directions are not written in 50 languages. They are in English, so it's another thumbs up. Um, it's a really cool gun. Makes me kind of happy to get this one. So this is the speed loader. I did put some BBs in here, and I'm going to be honest with you. This thing gave me a hell of a time, and I'm not even sure if I'm doing this correctly. But you can load it by hand, and that's what I ended up doing. Now it is. It does. It does have CO2 in it right now. It's a heavy, heavy, heavy gun. I don't have my scales right handy right now, but it is a heavy gun. And if you would like to drop this magazine out, this is a work of art. It's heavy, and this thing is super, super accurate. Not as far as firing, because I haven't done that yet. 
but as far as the realism goes, it does have a working safety back strap. It is a double action gun. It does slide back, okay, and it sounds really good. Now, if you can look, if you can see, the fiber optics on this particular gun are really nice also. Um, probably better than my Springfield. Yeah, I'm definitely going to say that you pick these up a little faster than the Springfield. The texture on the grip is super nice. It has a competition style trigger. The barrel is a beautiful, like, chromed finish, like the Babiaga. The real one. And it's just a nice, nice piece. Especially with that double action trigger. So, amazing, right? Super nice. Well, I can't wait to shoot this thing. But we're going to get into the magazine for a second. Now, if you do happen to pick this up, you're going to stumble a little bit on the magazine unless you watch this video first. First thing you're going to notice is, well, Mike, where do I put the CO2? How do I load it? Well, you'd look at the end and you think that's going to slide over, kind of like the Springfield Armory does. And it's true to a point. But there's a little switch here that you have to pull down, and then this slides off so easily, which reveals the screw for the CO2. Now, I like this feature. And you'll notice there's a button on the end here, too. So, Pull that down again, and this literally slips right back on so easy. It is easier than the Springfield Armory once you figure out that that mechanism's right there, as you can see, okay? But what's nice is after you slide this on, that pin locks in place, and that can't go any place. It's never going to move any place, which is great. CO2 loads easily, although you do lose a little bit of CO2 when you screw it down, unlike the Springfield Armory, because the Springfield Armory lost nothing. I heard nothing, not even a pssst. So, and you do get that at most blowback air pistols. So the Springfield is still my favorite go-to. Now loading it is a different story. Loading it, what you do is you're gonna pull back on the shiny part here on the metal spring, kind of like you normally would. And a lot of these, you'd know, as you know, you'd pull down and you'd load them from the bottom and you'd use your speed loader to load them and they'd slide up. This is a bit different. You pull down that spring and it's a good sturdy. It's not plastic. It's not going to break on you. If it comes slamming back up, nothing's going to break. So that's good. It's a good, heavy, heavy magazine. Design-wise, I like this magazine even better than the spring, Springfield, simply due to the fact that this is metal and except for the cutout part for the CO2. I wish they would have made that solid. Um, to me, the realism is nice if it was solid. But what you do with these BBs is you literally have to pull that down, pop them in from the front and the top here. Okay? So, as you can see, that's right there. I can't load another one in, it simply won't fit. And I, I, can, I don't know if I can pop this one out with my finger or not, but you know what, I'm gonna get one out so I can load it for you, just so you can see here. Okay, there we go. So what you do is you pull your spring down, and then it'll drop them down, and you pop it in from the front, not the top, pop. And it's a good positive click. It feels like you're loading, of course not size-wise, but like a nine millimeter regular magazine has that nice positive click and feel which is why I ran into the problem with the speed loader speed loader does not want to pop that in there maybe it would if I could I don't know get used to it but as far as speed loading it goes I don't think that's gonna happen because it's such a positive one click so you're better off definitely loading this by hand um and as I said, I believe this is a 20 round magazine. I think I tried to fit more than that in it. But what happens if is if you do, this brings this so far down that you cannot pull the bottom plate off or put the, or should I say, put the bottom plate back on. Um, so that's a no-go. So the rounds, it says 
is the uh, how many it takes 20 mount, 20 round capacity so let's just see what you get there yeah it works it locks in nice it is not a spring uh, mechanism it is is it just gravity or as you'd like to say weight and mass whatever however you'd like to to use the term i like to use the term weight and mass because that's what it is it uses its weight and mass to fall out of the magazine loads nice drops nice very smooth transitions i can see where you could actually use this as a competition gun providing that it fires true straight and accurate um very nice piece now we can get into the breakdown of this gun real quick if you'd like to and it simply comes apart like a standard 1911 you put your pin in the right spot here and you push out you pull the clip and it slides right apart it's easy nothing to it um takes down a little bit easier than my springfield does and i kind of like that field strips uh very nice i have got in here uh, a few minutes ago when i lubed everything up just to make sure everything was nice the internals look to be about standing quality this the uh the slide feels actually like a real deal 1911 slide if i put this in your hand you'd never be able to tell the difference there's no rattles or shakes it uh it's a nice piece it's a nice piece i'm very very satisfied with it um the bottom also i could hand this to you you'd look at it and you're going you'd think this was a nine millimeter or 45 caliber um lower it's <laughs> it's amazing what they have done here it really really is it, it's just uh super amazing so you know what i'm here and i'm gonna put a little oil on my slide right here because i missed a spot and i like everything correct now as far as markings on this go they've pretty much gone with marking delete um i like that i really do like that um it's just sometimes i think the markings on the real version of this are kind of gaudy they're bright white and they really kind of take away from the uh the look of the gun it really does um so what you get as far as markings go is you got a, a unique serial number up front and unfortunately they did use the 177 caliber 4.5 and very small lettering in the front which we're going to take care of that because i just uh would like more realism that's me it's part of a collection it's just the uh it's just for me a lot of people don't agree with that i understand if you don't but when i'm shopping for an air pistol and don't get me wrong if i could afford to have every single real 45 or 9 millimeter that i liked i'd have them but i can't i'm a working man just like you guys and uh a collector you know so i i just like the, the look the feel the function and these make great training weapons maybe i will buy one someday if i like the feel of it that's kind of how it went with the springfield armory xdm um you carry it for a while you see if you're comfortable with it you see if, if it fits your holster correctly and if you really like it you're comfortable with it you love the way it functions then you make your purchase on the real firearm and it's a great training tool because it works just like the real one and you're not spending a fortune on ammunition to do your drills so so far so good it's um it seems to be decent quality um it looks mean as hell i mean we can't deny that right how, how do we deny that how do we deny a chrome plated barrel is not looking cool with a competition trigger and some nice picatinny rails and by the way this is a full metal gun this isn't a polymer lower it's not a polymer upper this is full metal so you really do have that nice mechanism now is it as sturdy as the springfield I don't think it is as sturdy as far as the way the slide is moving. There's a little bit of wobble there with the Springfield. There's none. The Springfield is super solid. Is it something that would be a deal breaker? Definitely not. Are you going to grab it and go, oh, I don't like that? Definitely not. You're definitely going to enjoy it um, as far as feel wise, uh, the feel of the gun goes, weight of the gun. 
the balance of this gun is one thing you'll notice right off the bat. The balance of this is absolutely, I mean, it's, <laughs> it fits my hands really nice. And that is kind of cool because this 1911 grip, and it's textured, so you can feel that texture. You're not gonna, this gun's not going to slip out of your hand by any means. Usually on a 1911, I don't feel comfortable because of the straight grip, because it's so blocky. That's why I kind of like the XDM, because it, I can adjust that back strap, put a different uh, strap on the back, and adjust it to my hand. But this is nice. This is really, 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 really nice. It feels good. Um, so who knows, maybe someday I will have the real one. Anyhow... If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe. Um, oh, before we go, let me tell you exactly where we can get it, because that's where you're all wondering, right? Now, I'm not recommending any seller, so I want to make that perfectly clear. I'm not affiliated with this seller at all. Um, they did ship it fast to me, so I'll give them props on that. I'll give you the feedback rating. But I think if you're if you're interested in purchasing one, I think that this is the uh, the only game in town right now. If you guys find them out there, someplace else, let me know. Leave it in the comment section below because I'm curious myself. Because I did a little research, I couldn't find any. It is on eBay. The seller is Airsoft and Novelties, and that's all one word. Okay, they've had 2,651 sales, and they're at a 99.2% positive feedback. They have sold six of these and ten, more than 10 are available. So you may be in luck. Now be careful because they do also carry the airsoft version of this. So you want to make sure, I'll give you the description, it's 1911, 2011 style series Baba Yaga high kappa CO2 blowback air gun pistol 4.5 millimeter BBs. Okay, that's it is a US seller and they are based out of Dallas, Texas. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna put a link in the description below simply because YouTube doesn't like it when I put links. So with that, once again, please like, share, subscribe, um, hit that notification bell, please. And uh, I hope to be seeing you soon. I've got some other stuff coming. And uh, we'll be coming back with a shooting impressions video of this very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys.